Welcome back to another tutorial of PyQ GIS in GIS World Academy with Mohammed. Today we will talk about how we can write a simple script and how we can connect our QGIS to PyCharm. If you are excited, let's get started. So as we have uh, already uh, discussed according to how we can import and export layer using a Python console. Now it's a time to talk about how we can create a one simple script to write all of them and click on a button, then it's done. So before uh, jumping to that part, it will be better to review our code very fast. So. Uh, in the first part, uh, we need a relative path because we have already talked about it. What are the benefits of the relative path? Because I'm not a fan of a person who write a complete path because that will code just will works just on your PC, not other people. And then uh, we are creating, uh, we are getting the project folder path. Uh, where is the project? Where is the project folder path of our QGIS file? Mm, maybe it's a good idea now. I also show you our uh, structure of the folder. So I create, uh, as you remember, we create a PyQGIS folder. Inside that, I have a GeoData. Inside the GeoData, I have all of my data. And then uh, pyqgis.py. Now we will talk about it definitely uh, in some in a few seconds later, and also the QGIS project folder. Okay, so uh, again, so I will get the project folder path, and then I will create uh, my layer path by concatenating the QGIS project folder path and layer relative path. And then after that, uh, I will create my uh, layer, the type of my layer. So I need uh, to create one object, QGIS vector layer. So I will, so they are the two input values. Then uh, we validate our input values. After that, uh, when everything is fine and we successfully added our layer to the QGIS, so it's time to set the extent. In that case, we are creating one object uh, as a canvas. And then after that, we are creating the ex our extent of the map. So we are getting the extent from the layer. So uh, in the layer, we are calling the extent function. So definitely it will create a minimum bounding box and it will get the minimum, e minimum x and y and maximum x and y. Then we are setting the extent, refreshing the canvas, so we have zoom to extent. Finally, we are creating the output file. Mm, this part, it is, it is extra definitely because we have already created the variable for that. So we will, we will edit it in our script definitely. Uh, and then finally, uh, we have a geodata. So this is the, for example, the geodata and buildings underline export and also we are creating uh, from this object we are calling this function this type of input so we have the export because the return is zero so we are sure that uh, our export is successful okay now it's time to create uh, our first simple python script uh, our py uh, q a GIS a script for writing that one. Uh, so the first, I think the most easiest way to copy paste all of them. But uh, I want to now tell you how we can connect our QGIS to the PyCharm because PyCharm is a better place. It's a great idea. So we can write different types of codes. We can apply the PEP8 and uh, whatever we have already talked to now in our uh, Python course, we can do in the PyCharm and it's a great place. Okay. So first of all, I will jump into my uh, script because I have already told you, I have already created one.py file as a PyQGIS. Uh -huh. Okay. Perfect. So I have already added here and I have already created one text. Uh, 
and I can also show you my PyCharm. So I have already opened this project, my PyQ GIS project, here it is geodata.py and .qgis folder. Okay, so we don't need it right now. The most easiest way is now just copy paste everything. I know it's not correct, but anyway, I will do that. Okay, now you can see that this is script. Now, although you have already opened it here, you can access it also in the pie chart. So if I just save this one here and then I open my pie chart. So you can already see all of the codes here. Yes, perfect. Here, very fast, I want to delete the extra parts, the return parts. Yes, now everything is fine. And and also now you are see all of them are red. So just I want to import them. So let me just tell you how we can do that and how we can sure that our imports are correct. Uh, I have already know that. So for example, from, so Q, gs.core so we want to import the first thing is qgis vector layer plus qgs project yes so it is completely correct so i will take it and add it in the first line of my coding. Another variable that I needed from QGS dot utils import I face. Great, so you can see that my import also is correct because all of these libraries and packages has already been installed in the in the virtual environment of the, the virtual environment that's created by uh, the QGIS and, and, and that has been installed on your definitely your PC. Okay, just I will put on this button and I will save it. Then I will bring back uh, my pie chart so you can see it everything now it's fine uh, another thing that I have already told you uh, do you think that this script is correct according to whatever we have already talked in our Python course is it everything is fine uh, don't think about the packages oh and also I forgot this one now it's good. Um, you can see that everything is looks good. I think the here according to the pep eight, everything is lowercase. Here is fine, and yes, we don't have. Maybe you can. You will see. You will say that. Okay, here is a redundant. Anyway, okay, I will correct it for you right now. Okay, so this part also is fine. But the most important thing, if you remember, in the Py, in the Python, in the Python course, we say that gender name gender is equal to what was that? What do you think? Definitely, it was main. So, do you think that this one will work in QGIS or not? So, uh, as we have already talked. Now we want to know what is the interpreter. So uh, where, we where, where is the place to running our code in the QGIS? So Dunder name Dunder. So it is that Python console. So it is not the main. So I will replace it. Now, as you see here, we don't have this sign automatic display sound. It means that this script, it's not connected to the uh, virtual environment of QGIS. It means that when you see this console, you 
you have to run your code inside the QGA. So it's easy. Uh, when I see any code like this, if I see this part and I see it's console with closed eyes, I just open this script inside the QGIS and run it and everything will be fine without thinking about anything. So now you know that how much this part is important so here it's now it's very easy you you successfully connected your pycharm to the uh, to successfully you connect your pycharm to your qgis okay so it's done and you can see that whatever i'm changing here it will be automatically applied here for example i can add here print now you can see so the only thing, control S, click here. So my mat is here. Yeah, everything is fine. Yes, now it looks good. So you, you are sure that all of the things according to the app 8 is applied to your code and uh, you will be sure that everything is fine. Uh, I think it's enough for these sessions and uh, or, or maybe first of all, again, we can run this part. So if we see, Oh, there you go. It's done. So you can see that my buildings has already here. Okay, great. And maybe at the end of this code, we can write print as fully maybe. Okay. Good. So, and let me do the and uh, yes and also here i should have my code successfully finished perfect run it again successfully finished perfect everything works now properly and you can also see that the colors of the buildings are changed so the code runs properly okay thanks a lot for all your attention again if you uh, like our videos don't forget to recommend our channel to your friends subscribe our channel if you have any questions don't forget to leave it in the comment section below and in the next tutorial we will talk about uh, how we can uh, functionalize our PyQGIS code because you see that this part is a repetitive this part again is a repetitive so the functional coding will be really helpful that I will discuss it in the next tutorial uh, see you soon bye